There was some good news today in the fight against inflation. It's a very latest data showed that despite a Fed increase last month, driven mainly by fuel costs, the headline consumer price index is now 6.7%, which is a slight decrease from 6.8% in July. What is more important is that the core inflation figure also fell down from 6.9% in July to now stand at 6.2%. This should translate to better news for interest rates and mortgage holders over time. And this is the set of figures that many had crossed their fingers for. And the falling core inflation will come as a relief to the government, to Rishi Sunak, to the Chancellor, as well as the public alike. Whilst the inflation battle is not won yet, this is a substantial advance, and the Bank of England should now pause from any further action to see if this trend continues rather than go too far and risk causing economic riot. We shall see if they do that or not tomorrow. I would expect to see swap rates continue to ease over the coming days, which will give lenders more ammunition to escalate the rate war which has been brewing for the last few weeks. We have already seen the first fixed rates under 5% and hopefully now we're likely to see more choice at this level. All eyes now on the Bank of England and let's hope that they don't do anything too silly. 52% now is the chance of them increasing the rate to 5.5% but the voices urging them to pause are growing louder than ever.